When mentioning the top cities in China, many immediately think of Beijing for politics or Shenzhen for technology. However, the city with the strongest, most extensive, and sophisticated infrastructure is neither of these. That city is Shanghai. Shanghai is a city where the speed of infrastructure development even astonishes the rest of the world. It is a city where bridges, airports, rail systems, and seaports operate on a scale that many Western megacities can only dream of. While major cities in the U.S. are still struggling with infrastructure projects that drag on for decades, Shanghai's team of engineers operates the world's largest container port, an airport capable of handling over 3 million tons of cargo annually, a subway system longer than the combined networks of New York and Chicago, and a high-speed rail network reaching speeds of up to 380 kilometers per hour, connecting economic centers within just a few hours. So what has turned Shanghai into China's number one infrastructure hub? Which projects create this silent yet overwhelming strength? Let's explore with Top 10 Discoveries Official the five most iconic infrastructure achievements in Shanghai and understand why this city is redefining the standards of a global metropolis. 1. Shanghai Port Located on the Yangtze River Shanghai Port is not only the logistics heart of China, but also a symbol of the country's global economic operational capacity. With over 50 million TEU containers handled in 2024 alone, Shanghai Port has led the world for 14 consecutive years, a record unprecedented in international maritime transport history. The port covers an operational area exceeding 3,500 square kilometers, including both inland river ports and the deep water Yangshan area allowing it to accommodate massive post-Panamax container ships. A class of vessels only the world's most modern deep water ports can serve. Its three main zones, Wusongku, Waigaokiao, and Yangshan, stretch over 13 kilometers of berths with 43 docks and 156 container cranes operating continuously to ensure an uninterrupted supply chain. Notably, Yangshan Phase 4, operational since 2017, has elevated the concept of automated terminals to a whole new level. Capable of handling 6.3 million TEU annually, this area operates with 21 key cranes, 108 automated rail cranes, and 125 unmanned AGV vehicles, making Yangshan the world's largest automated container terminal. An achievement unmatched even by major ports in Europe and the U.S. beyond domestic scale, Shanghai Port connects to over 700 ports in more than 200 countries, maintaining over 320 weekly shipping routes, shaping a truly global logistics network. To strengthen internal capacity, in 2019, Shanghai International Port Group formed a joint venture with Costco Shipping to improve rail networks, reducing dependence on traditional road transport, benefiting both cost and environmental impact an especially strategic move as the world tightens carbon emission standards. Shanghai Port operates not just as a colossal logistics machine, but continuously invests in technology and expansion, with plans to increase Yangshan's capacity to 26 million TEU by 2025, a figure that makes most other ports worldwide wary. On the World Economic Forum's Belt and Road City Connectivity Index, Shanghai Port ranks second globally in infrastructure connectivity, cementing its irreplaceable role in global trade flows. By every measure, volume, technology, international connectivity, and expansion speed, Shanghai Port surpasses the conventional definition of a maritime transport hub. It has become a dynamic economic infrastructure and a key foundation helping China not only integrate but also reshape global trade order in the 21st century. 2. Shanghai Pudong International Airport If Shanghai Port is the maritime logistics engine, Pudong International Airport is the aerial gateway connecting Shanghai to the world. With a total passenger volume of 54.5 million in 2023, Pudong ranks second in China after Guangzhou Baiyun Airport and is among the busiest airports globally. But that is only part of the story. In terms of cargo, Pudong handled up to 3.44 million tons in 2024, ranking third worldwide for air cargo throughput, a testament to the airport's vital role in the global logistics chain. 
Spanning a massive 40 square kilometers and located about 30 kilometers from downtown Shanghai, the airport is organized into a specialized operational complex with four runways ranging from 3,400 to 4,000 meters, allowing takeoff and landing of the largest wide-body aircraft, such as the Airbus A380. The airport has two main terminals, Terminal 1 covering 280,000 square meters, and Terminal 2 capable of serving up to 60 million passengers annually. Especially notable is the satellite terminal, the largest in the world at 622,000 square meters, operating with a capacity of 38 million passengers per year, supporting 162 boarding bridges and 189 remote gates. Beyond physical scale, Pudong Airport stands out for advanced operational technology. The ACDM system, implemented since 2017, improved on-time flight rates to 62.7% within months, a crucial metric in the aviation industry where delays mean enormous financial losses. In parallel, the Shanghai Maglev train system, running at speeds up to 431 kilometers per hour, reduces travel time from the airport to the city center to just seven minutes, a feat that major airports like JFK, Heathrow, or Charles de Gaulle have yet to match. Additionally, the automated people mover, APM system, with lengths of 1.65 kilometers on the east side and 1.86 kilometers on the west side, seamlessly connects terminals internally, accelerating passenger flow between functional areas. Investment figures reveal the long-term ambition. Phase one from 1999 cost 12 billion ERMB, approximately 1.67 billion US dollars. The fourth and fifth runways cost 403 million US dollars and 726.6 million US dollars respectively. The giant satellite terminal project costs 20.6 billion RMB and construction continues. Terminal 3 is under development, aiming to add 50 million passenger capacity annually, targeting a total capacity of 80 million passengers and 6 million tons of cargo per year bringing Pudong closer to the world's top five airports by total throughput. Strategically, Pudong Airport is more than a commercial airport. It is Shanghai's gateway to the world, directly supporting key sectors like finance, tourism, and international logistics, while reinforcing Shanghai's role as a global financial and commercial center. In the context of global financial hubs relying on fast, stable international connections from London to New York, Pudong is a critical infrastructure foundation for Shanghai to maintain and expand its economic influence beyond national borders. If one were to define the standard of a 21st century international airport, operating at massive scale, integrating cutting edge technology, offering superior connection speed, and holding global strategic influence, Pudong Airport is the model the world must look to. Three, Shanghai Metro System. With a total length of 808 kilometers and 19 operating lines, the Shanghai Metro is currently the longest subway network in the world, far surpassing established systems like the London Underground or New York Subway. In 2023, the system served an average of 10.03 million passenger trips daily, setting a record of 13.39 million trips in a single day in March 2024, a figure that few metro networks worldwide can approach let alone exceed. In terms of infrastructure, Shanghai Metro operates 508 stations when counting transfer stations and 409 stations by independent counting methods, covering almost the entire central area and suburban districts of Shanghai. Electrification is widespread, with some lines powered by 1,500 volts DC via overhead wires or third rails, and others using 750 volts DC allowing maximum speeds up to 120 kilometers per hour on lines such as Line 16, a speed exceeding that of many urban metro systems today. What makes Shanghai Metro truly stand out is not only its scale, but also its operational technology. Over 169 kilometers of the network is fully automated, ranking second globally only behind the Paris Metro Grand Paris Express. Passengers at all stations enjoy free Wi-Fi and high-speed 5G connectivity creating a seamless travel experience within this vast urban environment. Safety is elevated to the highest level with platform screen doors installed at all stations. 
a feature that even many older European and American metro systems are still working to implement. Shanghai's ambitions for the metro extend far beyond the present. The 2018 to 2023 expansion plan added five new metro lines and two suburban rail lines, raising the system's projected total length to 1,154 kilometers. Looking further ahead, the city aims to expand the network to over 2,000 kilometers by 2035, a scale unprecedented in the history of urban transit worldwide. Strong early investments reveal a long-term vision. In 1999, a $28 million joint venture with Shanghai Alstom Transportation Equipment, Kursebrain LTDD, laid the groundwork for domestic production of metro trains from the very beginning of development. Consistent investment and expansion policies have transformed Shanghai Metro from a single-line network into a vibrant system that coordinates the daily rhythm of nearly 30 million residents in the greater Shanghai metropolitan area. More than just a mode of transport, Shanghai Metro has become the backbone of the city's operational infrastructure, a system where speed, technology, and long-term vision combine to set a new standard for 21st century urban transit. Four, Shanghai High-Speed Rail. Network Shanghai is not only a destination, but also the coordinating center of the world's largest high-speed rail network. With major hubs such as Shanghai Hongqiao, Shanghai South, and the under-construction Shanghai East Station, the city operates and expands a high-speed transportation system whose scale and influence extend far beyond China's borders. Key arteries like the Shanghai Hangzhou Huzhou Line, completed in 2024, efficiently connect the Yangtze River Delta, the most economically dynamic region in China, in just a few hours of travel. Simultaneously, the Shanghai Chongqing Chengdu Line is under development, extending Shanghai's reach to the distant southwest, turning journeys that once took days into mere hours. Maximum operating speeds on some lines reach 380 kilometers per hour, making Shanghai one of the world's fastest high-speed rail hubs. Large stations like Shanghai Hongqiao, one of Asia's largest, seamlessly integrate high-speed rail and domestic airports, allowing passengers to transfer from plane to train in under an hour. Shanghai East Station, backed by hundreds of billions of RMB in investment, is planned as a new transportation hub for the future reinforcing the city's irreplaceable role as a national transport nexus. Beyond speed and scale, the system's operational technology is world-class. The entire network uses advanced ballastless track types, CRTSI TWISH 3, increasing stability and reducing maintenance costs. CRH trains from Hexi Hao to Fuxing Hao are fully localized based on technology transfers from Alstom, Siemens, and Kawasaki transforming China from a technology importer into a global exporter of high-speed rail technology. In 2024 alone, over 100 billion RMB was allocated specifically for Shanghai's high-speed rail projects, reflecting not only its current stature, but also a long-term commitment to 21st century transportation development. As China aims to reach 50,000 kilometers of national high-speed rail by 2025, Shanghai plays not just a connecting role, the city is reshaping the entire economic spatial structure, where distance is measured not in kilometers, but in travel time. With the convergence of speed, advanced technology, massive investment, and strategic long-term vision, Shanghai's high-speed rail system transcends the limits of a conventional transport network. It has become an inseparable part of the infrastructure underpinning globalized economies, where geographic power is redefined not by national borders, but by mobility across space and time. 5. Cross-River Transportation Infrastructure The Huangpu River once divided Shanghai into two separate entities, the historic Puxi and the modern Pudong. But with a bold cross-river infrastructure development strategy, Shanghai has not only connected the two banks, but also reshaped its entire economic and urban map. By 2019, the city operated 12 bridges and 14 tunnels crossing the Huangpu River. By 2024, two new projects, the Yindu Road Tunnel and Longchang Road Tunnel, raised the total number of tunnels to 16, further strengthening one of the world's largest cross-river transportation networks in a modern metropolis. Iconic bridges such as Yangpu, once among the longest cable-stayed bridges in the world at completion, 
Nanpu with its unique spiral design, and Lupu, the impressive steel arch bridge, serve not only functional roles but have become cultural urban symbols, deeply embedding Shanghai's global image as a city where engineering and aesthetics go hand in hand. Tunnels like the Yindu Road Cross River Tunnel and Longchang Road Cross River Tunnel, completed in 2024, continue to enhance cross-river mobility, especially during peak hours, when every minute of delay directly translates into economic losses. From an investment perspective, the cross-river transportation system is part of a massive 238.3 billion RMB infrastructure investment in 2024, reflecting the city's absolute commitment to maintaining and upgrading its modern transportation framework. Beyond increasing traffic capacity, these cross-river projects optimize urban spatial development, enabling Puxi and Pudong to operate as a unified whole rather than two isolated districts, expanding Shanghai's influence across the entire Yangtze River Delta region. Most importantly, this system is designed with cutting-edge engineering, capable of bearing heavy loads, earthquake-resistant, and able to handle enormous traffic volumes under harsh conditions while ensuring absolute safety. While many river cities worldwide still struggle with the challenge of connecting two shores, Shanghai has transformed the Huangpu River, a natural barrier, into a continuous transportation axis, allowing the city to function like a perfectly synchronized machine without bottlenecks. Combining top-tier engineering, massive investment scale, practical operational efficiency, and cultural symbolism, Shanghai's cross-river transportation system not only demonstrates the city's ability to solve complex traffic challenges, but also sets a benchmark for any global megacity to emulate. In a world where a city's strength is measured not just by GDP or population, but by its ability to operate efficiently through every bridge, every kilometer of rail, every container ship, and every passenger flow, Shanghai has created a new standard. From the world's busiest container port, an international class airport, an extensive metro system, the fastest high-speed rail network on the planet, to a comprehensive cross-river transportation system, Shanghai not only surpasses the rest of China, it challenges the entire global urban infrastructure order. The question is no longer what Shanghai has achieved. The real question is, how many years, how many generations will other cities need to catch up to what Shanghai has defined in just a few decades. Which city do you think will be next to reach this standard? New York, Dubai, or a completely new rising metropolis? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth analyses of world-changing infrastructure projects. Top 10 Discoveries Official will return with more spectacular discoveries, grand projects, and untold stories from around the globe. Goodbye and see you next time.